dogs are really incredible in their anatomy and their physiology. Everything that they have been built to do is to explore the world with their noses. The surface area in our nose is so much smaller than a dog's. In the dog's nose, they have this whole honeycomb um, area that increases dramatically how much is dedicated to odor detection, whereas we have this like little postage stamp. We have been working with medical detection dogs for about seven years and really starting to understand how dogs can help us uh, detect odors that people have associated with diseases. And so it was was kind of natural for us to move into asking the question of whether or not dogs could detect an odor associated with COVID-19. The reason that we use a scent wheel, which is basically a wheel with 12 spokes on it, and in the end of each spoke is a canister that holds an odor sample. And the reason that we use that is it allows the dog to independently go and sniff each sample. In that wheel, there's a sample that is a sample from a patient with COVID-19. We've started with urine samples. And in addition to that positive sample, there will be one to four to, tw to 11 negative samples. Those all are gonna be from patients who have been tested as negative for COVID-19. We also may throw in the wheel some distractors like banana and rum and other, other things that we put in there just to make sure that the dogs are really focusing on the odors that, that we want them. The virus was inactivated, so none of the handlers, none of the dogs are exposed to any active virus. They were able within three weeks to tell us over 95% and probably closer to 97% of the time that this is the odor that we're interested in. The success is, um, to me, kind of mind-blowing uh, because these dogs are so accurate. We have nine dogs in the program. We have, again, a spectrum of personalities that are in there, and we have you know, a chocolate, and we have yellows, and we have black labs, and we have males, and we have females. Some of them are a little bit slower and more methodical. Others are fast. It's like boom, 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 and it's here. There's a lot of sort of operational issues that we have to address before we can confidently put those dogs into action um, in an airport, at schools, at, you know, wherever it might be, knowing what dogs know, I, I trust the dog. Um, but that always is given that the dog has been trained in a way that is, is scientific and is rigorous and is safe as well.